How many of you ever attempted the game of golf? Okay, most of us have tried it. Now, how many of you agree with me? It's a lot more difficult than it looks when you watch a pro do it. Agreed? That's true of selling as well. Many people that are new in sales come into this business with lots of excitement, enthusiasm, but they aren't aware that they must master certain fundamentals. You see, a good golf swing begins with four basic fundamentals. And selling, we have seven fundamentals. And this program is designed to, in essence, give you an overview as well as in-depth knowledge on these seven fundamentals. Now, the first fundamental is called prospecting. And prospecting is finding the right people to get involved in your product. And in finding them, you must decide your own technique of prospecting. Is it going to be telephone, in person? Is it going to be a combination of direct mail, then followed up with a call? The first thing you must realize is if you see more people, your income will go up in selling. And there's a proven graph that I can show you with almost any company that if you increase your contacts and the proper follow-up, you're going to build much more productivity in the following months. The second fundamental is called the original contact. The initial impression you make when you first meet a person. And we're also going to learn that people judge you rapidly today. They judge you first verbally as to how you greet them in the beginning, then visually how you come across, how you look. So we're going to work on developing a good original contact. Your next fundamental is called qualification qualification. This is finding out who is the qualified decision maker. Do they have the capacity financially to say yes to the opportunity or the product or service? And qualification is a lost art. And so when we get into that part of the program, please pay special attention to it. Because I believe that the end result of getting people to say yes to the offering is really primarily determined by your ability to qualify them properly. So we'll really give that close attention. Then our fourth fundamental is called presentation or demonstration. Now presentation means you're presenting an intangible product. Demonstration is presenting a tangible product, something they can touch, they can feel, they can operate. Then of course when we get done with our presentation demonstration, at the end of it, when we get closer to the final agreement, we then come with the fifth fundamental, which is called handling objections and addressing concerns. You see, most people will not say yes to any offering until they first give you some type of no. So we're going to be giving you in this program a formula that is fundamentally sound for you to handle those stalls, those areas of concern that we're all going to hear. Now, of course, the sixth fundamental is my favorite, and before I give it to you, I'll say that when people ask our representatives what makes your company, your training different than a lot of the other people out there in the speaking or in the motivational field, we always come back to the fundamental number six is what we specialize in. Fundamental number six is the true art form. It's the most important of all the seven fundamentals, because without a mastery of number six, there can't be high revenue generated for you, your family, and your company. So number six is closing the sale. Finding your own wonderful way to help them give you the final agreement, give you the commitment, and of course financially say I'm taking the product, I'm exchanging my money, my resources for all the wonderful benefits that you're going to give me with your product or service. Now many people have a tendency to feel well, when I get with, done with number six then my job is over. I've closed the sale. Now your job isn't over. We're going to learn to master step number seven. You see because the seventh fundamental is how you're really going to build that long-term business. Now you remember on an earlier program I mentioned that you've got to make a commitment of time and effort. Almost fanatic time and effort to build momentum, to build the business to where you get to step seven, where most of it is getting referrals. You see, if you ha know how to ask properly, you know the steps in getting referrals, every happy client will end up being two, three, four, five, ten more that you will be able to serve. 
Now, as we go over those seven fundamentals, there's a concept I want you to, to be aware of. I call it the SPR-PDR formula. Now, again, SPR-PDR. See, the S is going to stand for stimulus. And I'd like all of you to say the word stimulus. Everything a person says to you, in essence, is a stimulus. stimulus all right? Skip the P for right now and go to the R, which stands for response. So every time they give us the S, we must come up with the right what? Response. Response. Now, the P stands for pause. When they give us the stimulus, we cannot take too long of a pause. We must come up with the right response. That's called the stimulus pause response part of the program. Meaning, we're going to hear later on in the program, someone says it costs too much. That is an S, which is what? Stimulus. We can't take too much of a P, which is a? We must deliver the right R, which is a response. Now, how do you develop all the right responses to every stimulus? Through PDR, which I believe those are the three most important letters in the world of selling. P D R, standing for practice, drill, and rehearse. This is where you really turn pro. When you commit a time every day, every week, where you're going to do PDR sessions, meaning I'm going to learn every response to every stimulus my buyer can give me, but I'm going to have to do it through at the table with my books, practicing, drilling, and rehearsing. Because if you PDR, you'll have all the right R's with any S they give you, and that's when you're at the top of your game in this wonderful field called selling.